that light on the corner, this light, that one there, this one here, and the one on the corner down there. Hi. Hi. My name is Linda Jeffers. What's your name? Shirley Maxey. And Ms. Maxey, could you tell me where your resident is? I live in Littlewood, East Shore, Village. Go ahead. Could you tell me how this community is coming back? It's really not coming back. We need so much back here to be done. We have poor street lighting. We have poor street. We have trash, glass, and blight. This neighborhood is not thriving like it should be thriving. Well, before Katrina, what kind of condition was the community in? And much better. Was it lived in? It was lived in, and it was a much better community than it is now. I mean, it wasn't the best before, but it's even worse now. Would you look at this uh, area, Little Woods, as being um, one of those communities that have been forgotten? Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. We have forgot, been forgotten. There's no doubt about that. It's six years, going into six years, and... And we still trying to get street lights, we still trying to get blight, we trying to get grass, uh, uh, light grass and all this. You got everything going on out here that you could possibly have in a neighborhood that you don't need. Okay. So have you guys been out in this area? I know you're with, um, you have a housing association. What's the name of your association? Littlewood Homeowners Association. I am a part of it. Matter of fact, I am on the board of the Homeowners Association. And we work hard to try to get things done, but nobody here of. We are just like the forgotten community back here. Nobody cares about what goes on back here. Okay. So what about schools and playgrounds, things for children? We have a playground that's so drug infested. I mean, we, it's really, as we can't send our children to the playground because the playground is, is not livable. I mean, it's not usable. For the children, that's, that they have the swing sets around there, and we as an association have gotten volunteers to come and help us clean up and fix up and have it nice for the children, and we still cannot use it because the living situation and the and the way the, people, the way the drug is infested in the park and all, people just don't want to let their children go and play. Okay. So our area is, is, is forgotten with the police department, is, is forgotten about the city. The city has forgotten us. Everybody has forgot us. They, we just don't count back here. Oh, my God. So you were mentioning we're right at the back of your home, and you you live on Beekman Street, am I right? on Beekman. My front address is on Beacon, and my back ed, uh, uh, street uh, backyard is on Morrison Road, and it's terrible. They have lights that have not been on since Katrina. We have lights that don't work. The street is black, and we got a whole lot of traffic that comes through here. The road is bad. The street is bad. In some places, people got to stop and let other people pass before they can go down the street. And one instance is on forum, we got a big hole that one of the, the association members did construction work and he ordered concrete to fill it up. The city never came and fixed it. And it's still like that, as of today. Nobody never came to fix it and it's six years later. Six years later. So your street on the front side seems to be pretty good. So how did you guys get that street fixed? Well, our street in the front part, we didn't have too much of a problem with it. It's just the surrounding areas of the street. On my block, most of the people on, our, on my block, they uh, take very good interest in their property. They take interest in, in their surroundings and everything. But we have to work at it. The city, the state, FEMA, energy, nobody is trying to help us. Sewage and water board, nobody helped us. There's a canal right here, I noticed. So is this canal rather hazardous? It is. I noticed it's an it's a open canal that's located right here on Morrison. 
and it's got a lot of how you doing could you just give me an idea about this canal how does this canal affect you this canal is uh, it's just nasty. It's got alligators and all that. And nobody never come to clean it out. They come and cut the grass, and that's about much as they do around here. The, I think the state or whatever cuts the grass around there, and that's it. But we are, have problems with all kind of roads and alligators and all that stuff coming out of it. And you know, and I really think that something needs to be done about that. All right. Because they come in the yard. They, come, they cross the road and they come into our yard and into our area. What does that? Rodents? Rodents. Gators? Alligators. You name it, and they come. Mmm. Miss Shirley. Yeah, baby. How you doing? I'm good. You know who I am? Uh-huh. <laughs> How you been doing? You ain't sitting around there now. I know. I'm about to go over there now. <laughs> yeah. Ms. Shirley, I sincerely appreciate What would you like to see happen in your community right now? I would like in to this see, Little Woods community? I would like to see it cleaned up, first of all, with all the blight, all the trash, all the grass. Then I would like to see the streets fixed, and I would like to see better lighting and much more security in our area. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much. I love you.